Good evening, Mech Warriors and Tabletop Nerdcasters. This is Mike, and with me I have Percy, who is currently behind the controls of his campaign, the co-op that we are going to be playing. So I'm pretty sure he's going to give me a mech with a small laser, if I'm lucky, and talk crap the entire time. But um, it'll be okay, because I'll enjoy it anyway, because we'll be talking crap the entire time, and I'll still try and do more damage than he does. But with yeah, that said... <laughs> But with that said, we're going to handle a little bit of channel business. If you are new and uh, you haven't seen our our uh, games before, we are new into the foray of computer gaming and bringing it out as content providers to YouTube. So if you like what you see, please give us a subscription, uh, give us a thumbs up to beat the YouTube algorithm, and give us a comment and ring the bell so that you know anytime we've got something coming out. Our intentions and our goals are to provide you a new episode every single day. And then here and there, we're going to sprinkle in part of my post-campaign playthrough, which will be Hero Mechs. And we will be piloting every single Hero Mech that there is in the game, but we're doing it by acquiring them in live play. So, I'm not going to just run over to the Mech Lab and do, the, do all that. But with all that said, guys... Um, you know, here we are. We're ready to roll. So, Percy, what you got for us? Uh, so, did you talk about kind of a shift we'll make probably in the first few weeks of this campaign? I did not. Thank you for catching that. There we go. Would you like to tell everyone? Yeah, man. So, uh, we just got really excited after releasing those first couple of Hero Mech episodes. We just really want to dig into uh, Mech Warrior as far as we can go. And so, uh, we wanted to start this now, start doing this co-op campaign since uh, Mike's solo campaign is wrapped up already. Um, and so we're going to start the, silo, or the co-op campaign now, and in a few weeks when we're able to upgrade my system with a new beefier graphics card, uh, we're actually going to shift to from just having uh, Mike's camera house the entire campaign play to shifting perspectives between uh, him and my computer as well, uh, just to give that co-op kind of perspective of what's going on as we go. You'll have all both of our audio the entire time. Um, in both scenarios, but in once we get that upgrade going, uh, we'll be moving through that. And also, I, I want to point out, like, I've already gone through all of the solo pieces, the introduction to the campaign, so we're starting right off as soon as you unlock cooperative mode. Um, so if you want to see those first few missions, head back to his campaign and watch, like, the first two or three episodes, uh, and you'll see those first, like, four or five uh, And you can see how bad of a pilot I was. Oh gosh, yes. I uh, I went back and watched those, and I was very proud that I did not crash and burn nearly as bad as Mike did. Uh, thanks. <laughs> but he gave me some training before I started. So um, now, Mike, uh, before we go into the mission, this is this is my first time in the full game, right? I finished tutorial mode. Yep. I'm in the market right now, and I've got two mechs available, and I want to know should I buy one? I've got about two million C bills, uh, and I've got a locust that is pretty banged up. It's missing a leg, it's missing an arm. Uh, but it, it's gonna cost me one million uh, sea bills, or I've got a spider that's also pretty banged up, uh, but would cost me two million sea bills. Is there like a value thing I should be looking at? I, I figure let's use this co-op experience for you to teach me, uh, and by extension, anybody watching, what you should do in these first steps of having the full game at your fingertips. Make it boring. I got it. All right. So That's not, not boring. <laughs> Just tell me yes or no, damn it. <laughs> the short answer is no. Don't buy anything right now. Don't buy anything. Perfect. Let's as long as you are in a co-op mode, do not buy anything to start off the bat because you're starting this game at this point as you unlock this with three mechs. If okay. Yeah, you so you don't are, need anything. If you are playing solo, then what I would strongly suggest that you do is instead of buying a mech, you hire a third pilot. And that third okay. pilot would then be able to constitute one of the three mechs that you currently have. Okay. All right. So bringing a third person with you into the fray. Right. Um, now, there's other viewpoints which are immediately go out, get two pilots, and buy two cheap uh, locusts. But you will spend a lot of money repairing the damage that the AI pilots are going to do. Or that they're going to take, right. should I yeah, say. Yeah, sure, 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 sure. All right, so Pilot 2, Leon Freeman. Yeah, and you uh, should see, you should see uh, like, aft biohazard sitting just above Leon Freeman. Yeah, okay, so 
it's so giving like, me his pilot stats. Okay, so I should go. Where can I buy a new person? Do I go to barracks to hire? All right. So, are you in an industrial hub right now? I don't think so. If you so. go to your star map. Okay. All right. Hang on. I had like started up a contract load, so oh, I, then, I can't abort it. Then never mind. It's just going to be me. We're and just you piloting here. We're just going. One. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Do you want the Centurion, the Jenner, or the Javelin to go with? Um, I. What would... is your preference. If you want the Centurion, then I will take the Javelin. I actually kind of like the, the Javelin. I'm very right. comfortable in it. Then give me the Centurion and I'll be the boxer. Yeah. Yeah, I like the Javelin. I like the just the overall, the medium lasers. Now, I can't yet edit a loadout. Yeah, you can, but all right. How, how, do, how do I get to it? Because so, I'm not seeing the edit button. So if you go up under your battle mechs tab. Okay. All right. Okay, and then I, okay, so I, I have to edit from battle mechs, not from. Correct, correct. Not from the contracts tab, but from the battle okay. mechs tab. See, when we initially played, we went into that instant action, and you were editing from well, that. Well, yes, but that was because stuff. that okay. was a training right. exercise, and I yes, think everybody absolutely. should jump in there and do that before they ever go through pilot training 101 <laughs> and sure. flounder like it's you know, a, a, a funny thing. Record it. By all means, record it, because it'll be <laughs> hilarious. All right. So would it be beneficial, do you think, for this Javelin, for me to take all of the jump jets off and toss a bunch of heat sinks on there? You know, it wouldn't hurt. Um, but what I would honestly say is, if you're going to remove your heat sinks, then hit that max armor button first. Uh, you mean the jump jets? Yeah, once your jump jets are off, up in the upper right of your mech lab, there should be a max armor button. Okay. And it'll done. apply the maximum armor that that mech is capable of using. And then with your leftover weight, stick in some jump jets. Or not jump jets, but heat sinks. Yeah, I was able to fit two more heat sinks, and I'm maxed out on armor. Uh, plus 30 armor from what I normally was then you'll That's be good, good to one. go. Now, there's a couple of other techniques that could be done, but I think those are a little bit more advanced as you start to get a little deeper in the gameplay because I had done some of those just to make sure that my AI pilots would survive. Um, and that's... At these lower levels, if you're a little bit more conscious about not letting a mech get behind your back or vehicles okay. get behind your back, then you could take your back armor down to about um, seven to eight points and then apply all that additional armor that's left over back to yeah. your front. And okay, it makes so it a little bit more more durable. From playing with you, I know that you are not a big fan of the missiles. I, Is that I, accurate? I play with them. It's not... I, I, I play with them, but uh, again, if I have my, my choice, I'm always going to default to an energy mech. And that's because okay. I really like the pinpoint accuracy of the energy mechs. Now, with that, I'll caveat that by saying long-range missiles. I absolutely love long-range missiles, but okay, it needs so to be played in a, Yeah, it needs to be played like it's a support mode. So as things are way out there in the distance, and you just want to soften them up, it's a good way to do it. Okay, so you've got an AC-10, a long-range missile, and two medium lasers. How do you want me to set up your groups? Um, I'll tell you what, you don't have to. I'll do it in game. Oh, you can do that? Why? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, dang it. I was running around with your set last time. All right, let's do it. <laughs> I'll teach you how to do it. Ass. <laughs> hey, look, I wanted to take some of the confusion out of the game while you're first starting to learn the game. Yeah, I feel you. All right, go ahead and ready up, man. Let's get in here. Let's dig them out. Uh, I don't have to ready up. You just have to click ready and go. No, and... Yeah, you, you, you do have to ready up. I was readying up when we were playing. All right, well, see, that's interesting secondary. because I'm not in a screen that's showing me the capability of readying up. Let's yeah, go see what okay. we got. Okay, cool. Well, I can teach you. Go ahead and hit tab <laughs> and go over to the... I see it. There we know, go. All the right. top thing with the buttons. With the buttons? <laughs> it's got buttons. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I forget you haven't sat in the uh, in the co-pilot chair yet. No, I haven't ridden bitch yet. 
<laughs> I was I wasn't gonna say it. It was on my it was on the tip of my tongue. <laughs> That's okay. I'll beat you to it because I'm I'm more than happy to laugh at myself. That's right. And yes, you people can leave that as a comment, and I won't get offended. <laughs> we should title uh, our co-op campaign uh, like uh, like friends episodes. Online. And this one can be the one where Mike writes bitch. All right, don't forget, we got to get a picture before we get started. Oh yeah. Anders Willman. Yeah. Take him out, and we'll be able to get our salvage crew's planet side. Willman's forces All have right. mostly and the turn area, around. You should still expect some resistance. I'm hoping that that, uh, hold on. That's what I want to see. I want to see that thing lift off. Get that in the vision. There we go. <laughs> okay, now let me set my weapons here. You know what? They'll work. Kill the target. Now, keep in mind, you're significantly faster than I am, so uh, if you would like to run off into what um, constitutes potential death, and I don't want to do that. I want to walk around instead of jumping off a cliff with no jump jets. I have jump jets. <laughs> I don't know why I still have jump jets. I thought I took them all off. But... You probably have two out of the four that are originally assigned to that vehicle. Mm. So you still have the capability, you just don't have as much, basically, fuel. I see. Alright, we do have a target right up here. Yep, we sure do. And I think you're significantly further ahead of me. Target acquired. Yeah, you're just around the corner. Yeah, run away. You little bitch, man. Oh gosh, what was that? Oh, there's lots of helicopters now. Yes, there are, and I'm trying to kill them. Here, I'm going to come over and grab these tanks while you work on the air. Oh, goodness. These non-upgraded weapons. Yeah, dude, they're taking a while. <laughs> I'm just getting shot like it's nobody's business around here right now. Watch my shots miss. Okay. Now, let's see what we can do here. Let's get some missiles up and going. Target destroyed. Let's see what we can do. Now, I would strongly suggest if you got the opportunity, shoot the legs out of that hunchback. I'm trying to take out these turrets so they don't wipe us. Ow! I walked right into those lasers. Legs are looking a little weak. Critical. Yeah, I got some critical heat building though. So pulse into his legs and let's see what we can do. One of them should be gone. If we take the other yes. one out, it's done. Critical. And it's about to go. So my centurion ain't looking too good either. Yep. Tore up by small lasers and stuff. Alright, let me go take care of those then. Whoa. Okay. Right now he's the bigger threat, but alright. 
Well, the other day you told me to take out the little things, because they're bigger threats. He's down. I don't know the rules. Alright, head for the penis. Oh, trust me, I'm running for said penis. I lost my big gun. Ouch. I almost had a devastator pop me in the back. That's not cool. Or a mana core, sorry. So you need to get to that because I kind of have to take shelter here because I don't know if I can handle any more of those. Yeah, I'm gone. Once you're there, it should clear us out. Yep. So we did it. Hunchbacks, by the way, are um, they are one of my favorite medium mechs. Um, next to a crab, they're one of my favorites. So they are very, very powerful, especially if you get the variant that has the um, uh, the auto cannon twenty on it. Yeah. All right, let's see. We got some AC tens, right. AC five. So if you if you click on the 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 value, if you actually click up there where it says value next to share cost. It'll yeah. auto sort by value for you. Yeah, that's what that's what I'm doing. I've got them. Oh. Um, now the other thing is, is as you go forward in the game, you have to start picking things based upon tiers, whether or not you would use it or not. So if you start seeing any of those little boxes filled in, then you want to get that upgraded equipment. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So you got what you want. I got what I want. We leveled up some guys. We took a lot more damage than we had damage coverage. So, um, ultimately, in this one, um, let's just see. So, you acquired, what is that, 350, 370, and then had 172. So, you probably just broke even on this mission outside of your salvage. All right, but we did get a locust out of it, a couple medium lasers. All right. Not so, a bad deal. Let's go repair mechs real quick. Here's what I would suggest, and this is uh, at these very early stages, this is what you really want to have. This is what you really want to do. We need to go to the closest industrial hub before we do any repairs. Okay. So, star map? Yep. Where are the industrial hubs? So on your map, you're going to see these, what looks like planets that are outside of these conflict zones that have dotted and dashed lines between them. Okay. You, you click on any okay. one of those planets and you fly to that planet, it's an industrial hub. So when you're in a conflict zone, you're always going to pay more money than what it takes to, um, okay. to repair at an industrial hub. Okay. Now, the first thing that you want to do when you're in the industrial hub before you do anything else is go over into the barracks. Okay. All right. Now, you're going to see two tabs. One is the pilots that you already have, and one is hireable pilots. Okay. All right. So what you want to do is, for argument's sake, since there's two of us and you've already got Freeman, and I'm taking up Freeman's slot, you want to yep. hire two more pilots. Okay. Now, Does when it matter you, who or why? When or you look at them, they've got two numbers on them, all right? They're, and there's a bunch of numbers, but the, there's two by their name. And Yeah, the hiring and salary. Well, no, that's not what I'm oh. looking at. There's <laughs> there's like a um, 13 and a slash and 25 yeah. or whatever. Yeah. So the 13 is what their current pilot skill is at out of their maximum capable, which is that second one. All right. Okay. So what you want to do is choose the two best pilots that have the best maximum for right now. Not what their best current, but their best maximum. All right. Done. Okay. Now, you've done that. You know you've got a Locust. You've got a Jenner. You've got a Centurion. And you've got the Javelin, right? Just yeah. because of the mechs that you currently have. So you can theoretically field four mechs as it exists today. All right? 
But okay. here's the problem that you're going to run into. If you feel the Centurion, because it's a heavier mech, you're not going to be able to put four pilots on the field in the lower game. All right? Okay. So, how much money do you currently have? I have got... Uh, 2,246,300 All right, so let's go over into the market and see what they have for max. Okay, yeah, they've got two locusts. Uh, one, they're both around the same price, about uh, 1.3 million. And they got a spider that's too expensive. Okay, so on the two locusts, they have different variants. Do you see what the variants are? Uh, one, do you want to know the name of the variant or what they have? Uh, what do they have? That's the easiest way to uh, do this. One of them's got two medium lasers and two small lasers, and the other one's got a medium laser and two machine guns. Okay. Get the one that has the two mediums, two smalls. Okay. All right. So basically what you need to do is you now need to go into your battle mechs tab. Okay. And you want to repair everything and replace everything that is broken. You okay, should have the salvage to hopefully do this. Unfortunately, I can't see your screen in order to be able to really walk you through yeah. it. So doing it all from memory. But loadout. Yep, and you want to edit the detailed loadout. Okay, I don't have any small lasers. Okay, so, so you're I'm missing grab the medium ones. You're missing small lasers, right? That are damaged yep. and broken. All right. Yep. So over on the left-hand side of your screen, it's got what you have, but there's also a tab that says um, market. Click on the market. Okay. Yeah, I can buy a couple of small lasers. If you can buy two small lasers to replace them, now click over into your what you have tab. Yeah. And then go ahead and drag those over onto your mech. All right. Yeah, he's he's outfitted. Uh, let's see. Now, on the right-hand side, uh -huh. about halfway down the screen, you should see something that says uh, repair or repair all. Okay. Click on that. Okay. Yeah. Now, down at the bottom, it says something like begin or something along like those start, lines. Start work. Yep. And then it'll pop up to that screen that just says, yeah confirm it or whatever all right so your work order's done for that one so you want to do that for each one of your mechs real quick get them all right get them all repaired and I know it's gonna feel like you're 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 missing money at this point but that's really where what we need to make sure gets done yeah I get you for sure for sure okay because even if you're not, and, and the thing is, is that I know I said earlier that you need to be careful on the solo play to go get four pilots or whatnot, and the lighter max because the AI pilots will get them damaged, and that's a fair statement. But also at the same time, if you have the right mechs on the field, you're making up for the fact that you don't have fully upgraded weapons because you've got more mm -hmm. firepower swarming. So. All right, so I'm replacing your the AC-10 on the Centurion, which I guess I don't need to, right? Because you're not using the Centurion anymore. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't repair that one right off the bat. You can just do the standard repairs, but it don't go replacing weapons and stuff like that yet. Oh, you purchased a burst fire. I didn't mean to. I no. thought I was in my inventory. It's fine. That's uh, burst fires are fantastic weapons. All right, so what we would need to do now is go back over to the star map and head back into a conflict zone. Let's go back to Piscagula. That's where we were. Or does it matter where we go? Uh, you probably still want to stick around for a short time over in the. Um, uh, the very entry early areas so that you can start building reputation. So right. um, any planet that's within that zone 
once you're back in the zone, you'll be able to see all the missions that are sitting there, or the planets with missions. All right, let's see. It doesn't look like... It doesn't look like there are any contracts here, so do I need to go to another space? Yeah, go into your star map and just see where the... What, you know, which, which planets in the conflict zone have little icons sitting above them. Oh, okay, they've got to have the icons. Okay, yeah. got it. Got it, got it, got it. It looks now, like Greeley's got some stuff. If you look, if you look and you see one that looks like it has a shopping cart, okay, then that's not a mission. That's just telling you that you have a black market there. Um, and black markets just mean that you have a market within a conflict zone. They really usually don't have anything great. Okay, that's kind of a misleading thing that early on in the game you're like chasing the black markets and you're like, am I gonna find something cool? And it just it's like, no, here's another fidget spinner. Hmm. Nice. <laughs> I like fidget spinners. Alright, we got two contracts. Uh, it looks like both of them are demolitions. Okay. Uh, both have similar payouts. Both are difficulty nine. So okay, we'll now, well, do they have... I'm not worried about the payout. When you're doing this for early game, salvage is key. So does either one of them have a higher salvage number? Ah, yes, it does. But so one of them has a three salvage, but I have four negotiation points. Okay. The other one has four salvage, but I only have two points with them. Okay. So you want to do the one that's going to give you the most overall. So Okay, so do the one that I have four yep. points. Cool. Because you want to max that out, and then your next amount of money should go into the repair spot. Yeah, the damage coverage. Yep. Or your next tonnage point. Limit, tonnage limit is 145. So you said you don't you don't want the Centurion. It, did you repair it? I did. Okay. So what I would say is, let me click over here in contracts. All right. What I would say is move the Centurion over to um, Lieutenant Solis. Okay. All right. Um, you can give me the locust that has the the, the lasers. Uh, lasers on it. It's got some pretty beefy lasers too. I'll give you that. Um, let's see. You said you want to map those yourself, yeah? Yeah, I'll map them myself. And then what I would say is, with the remaining tonnage, give the Jenner to Rubio. And the reason why I'm going down this road here is if you if you really want the education behind it, it's because of the fact that um, the Jenner itself and that that fourth spot kind of hangs off back in the back unless you tell it to attack. Um, okay. But where the spot that I'm in and the spot that Lieutenant Solis is in kind of act almost as your boxing team. Okay. So uh -huh. even though I'm in a small mech the locust I'm, I'm still going to be rather fast and the lasers give me the ability to clean up tanks and do anything else that needs to happen while the centurion takes a pounding okay okay so with that said <laughs> let's see what kind of trouble we can get into And we have to wait for your load. Yeah, my load is uh, its always a problem. So, yeah, we're going to have to figure out your lance colors here. Because, you know what? This this like, standard everyday <laughs> stuff. You're not a fan, huh? No, I'm not really a fan. I mean, I think we need some hot rod red and a little bit of, you know, you know yellow in there. Some Maybe some purple. I'm not hearing any disagreement here. Uh, I'm, I am literally down for anything. Haha, -ha, I'm ready. There we go.
Now, Mike, how long are these particular episodes going to be, do you think? Uh, you know, I really don't know. We're coming up on 30 minutes, but the reality is, is we've done a lot of talking and educating in this first episode. That's true. So, we might take this one a little bit long, and then have the rest of them be a little bit shorter. Well, because uh, some of your initial solo campaigns were pretty long. I mean, up to an hour and a half to two hours. Yep. Okay, so... All right, now, are you familiar with commanding your lances? <laughs> I didn't no. think so. All right. It's going to be something you're going to have to learn. What? What is it? What do I do? When you, when you first target an enemy, um, the best thing for you to do is smash the F1 button twice. Target is down. Because that tells your um, uh, that tells all the lance to just go after him, to go after the target that you have. So I'm just gonna run around and cause chaos. Okay, uh, where are we trying to get? To? I don't know, some place that's over here. Looks like one of our mechs is already over there causing crap. That would be me. Oh. You already in the building? No, I'm not following. in the buildings. I'm, I'm running around clearing all this junk out here at this point. Um, tanks and all the other stuff here. Are we right, supposed to? Yeah, we're, this is demolish, isn't it? Okay. Yes, it is. All right. Then I'm just gonna run around in here. And I'm gonna do some quick damage. Now, now running through buildings does not damage your mechs? Um, depends on the building, but for the most part, no. Alright, we got some stuff coming in from above us. And to take and do these demolish missions, the best way to do them really is to run through and smash the buildings as fast as you can. Right, that's what I'm doing. So I'm not like really looking up to see what's going on up, up top. Well, I'm sure that means when we're ready to get out of here, we're going to have a whole lot of crud outside. Alright, so now we just gotta run for the... to get out of here. Not too hard, here we go. That locust beams it, man. Oh yeah, he's quick. But the problem is he cannot take a punch. Right. So you, it's one of those that if you're not used to shooting on the run, that mech's not for you. And uh, you also... It's kind of not advisable to um, run in a straight line either. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so like on this one, when you go into the breakdown here, you got paid about 260,000 C bills, right? Right. But the whole lance, because of even with what we were dealing with, 
only took 57,000 in damage, so your your insurance covered it all. Nice. All right. So, you know, early on, again, it's about trying to acquire the most expensive salvage as possible. And yeah. as you see tiered stuff, especially medium lasers, things like yep. that, those are things that you're going to want to get a hold of for sure. Well, this is unfortunate. I just got less reputation from the other mission <laughs> person for doing that one. Well, yes, but that's the thing is you're directly in conflict with because uh, you're in a challenge zone, right? So it's <laughs> it's okay because what you want to do is try and find a, a way to get your reputation built up and you want to get as high as you can with one and then go to the other space and work on that one, okay? So there's going to be some stuff that, um, strategically speaking, will be good for you, okay? And what I mean by that is we're in the very first area. So we're in the, the level sure. 3 reputation area. As soon as we hit level 4, the level 4 area is going to open up for us. And then I believe there's a 4 or a 5 area that's directly south of us on the overall star map. And all of those missions are not going head-to-head -head against factions. It's the Davion faction, or the Davion house, going and trying to get insurgents and pirates. So you're not affecting somebody else negatively. Okay? You're just massively building up your Davion credit. Gotcha. Alright, let's go ahead and repair these guys. And only if you're ever, like, drastically low on funds or you're really worried about it, um, that's when you want to hop to an industrial hub. So if you lose, like, major weaponry, you want to uh, go to okay. an industrial hub to repair. But these piddly little just in-between mission kind of things, gotcha. those are ones you know, don't need to worry about. Now, I will caution you if you're on a multiple mission operation. Mm-hmm. You do not get to repair your mechs between missions. Right, yeah, I kind of figured that from when we were playing the, the hero mechs. So that becomes a situation where you either need to have a couple extra mechs in your inventory to swap out to, or you need to make sure that you've got people not taking damage. So what kind of operations do you have here? We have two war zone contracts. Ooh, okay. And we've got... Uh, what is this? A raid. Hmm. Um, I would say, more than likely, it's probably better to start with the war zone contract. And again, target the war zone contract that gives you the best salvage opportunity. All right. Let's load her up. All right, let's make you some money. Yeah, let's try. I'm down to 164,000. That's not very much. Now, the thing is, though, that you're going to trickle in money from these contracts, but very early on, that salvage is where you're going to make your money. You're going to go to an industrial hub, and you're going to sell off all the extra junk that you don't need. Okay. Like all those extra jump jets and crud like that. And by the time you get in there and you sell 20 or 25 total items, you may be up to five, 600,000 uh, C-bills. So that's really where you're going to make your money early game. Now, late game, when you have a ton of reputation with people and you're able to start getting some of those um, heavier class mechs in salvage... Uh -huh. Those heavier class mechs are going to give you between three and five million in credits a pop. 
Okay, yeah. Okay. Even though they're going to tell you they're worth six or seven, you're really only going to take home six. You know, if you're lucky. Um, now, good rule of thumb, like most of the um, locusts, they're always going to tell you that they're worth like 1.5 or 1 or, or 1.6 or 7, something like that. But really what you're going to end up getting is about 700,000. Okay? So if you've got more salvage that you're capable of selling for more than that, that's how you kind of make that judgment call. Make sense? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. All right. Three percent left. Let's so go. I'm I'm done teaching. Now it's time to be smart asses. <laughs> We've got to give these folks something to be, you know, to laugh about. They've been laughing at my piloting skill the entire time. Well, you know what? They haven't seen a whole lot of your piloting skill because right now it's my screen. Uh, that's fair. So they're still seeing a good pilot. <laughs> Oh, come on. I was waiting on the response. <laughs> re re ready up. I was trying to think of something, and all I could think of was how badly beat up uh, your javelin was during your startup campaign. Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty rough. <laughs> and and how much mine was still intact. The only part from mechs that I purchased while they were beat up. Ah, crud. Uh, my mechs game crashed. What? Yeah. Oh, that's sad, because it dropped me in mission with nobody. No. Can you leave? And no objectives. All right, well, here's uh, Technical Difficulties signing off. Thanks nope. for joining now us. Now it just for... killed me. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining us for MechWarrior 5. We'll, uh, we'll be back tomorrow for some more campaign stuff. And we'll, we'll continue to laugh at Percy's connection. So keep on adventuring. Boy, boy. It's not my connection. It's my gra graphics. <laughs> you say that as your audio cuts out, too? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, all, it's all graphics, baby. It's all graphics. All right, guys. We'll see you later.